Shashi, okay, how can I hear reporting for the festival? So, today is one of those special occasions where you kind of celebrate someone else's birthday. And, well, it's actually a fictional one, to be honest. I mean, if we are talking the real side. But, today is Kiara's birthday, and I'm gonna make a special car for her. But, well, we have some restrictions that we have to keep some... Uh, comfort and elegance maybe and you know stuff like that because well my <laughs> legacy RS that I lent to Kiara basically is not the most comfortable car let's just say because I fully wake reduce it basically taking everything off from the car I made the engine so fast that it actually kind of wheel spin if you accidentally floor it, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> and well, the car is way too light for her and has almost no downforce. And basically, it's just too fast for her. Uh, when I said too fast, it's not comfortably fast, comfortably fast, like. It's so rough, <laughs> to be honest. But today I'm gonna give her a car that I kind of build it for her comfort. So yeah, and I just got disconnected from that. Thank you very much, Forza. <laughs> oh well, so I changed the paint to one of the factory color, which is white. I mean, car will blend in so easily this day with color like white, black, and gray, or even silver sometimes. Because let's let's face it, the world is getting a lot more monotone these days, and I don't like it to be honest. But, you know, it's fine I guess. So, okay, let me show you off. Well, we have the usual Forza Splitter, but yeah, I mean, she doesn't race alright, but she... She do require car with performance, obviously, so I give her 902 horsepower with 721 feet of torque and it weighs around 4,288 pounds. And well, there's your usual splitter and canard from the Forza. Uh, and of course we have the wing and we have the stock wing as much as I want to remove it this is the XFRS so it's kinda fishy if you try to modify it like <laughs> besides you need a little downforce for comfort if you have a performance car that's gonna be comfortable to ride so engine wise I keep it stock but the power well the drivetrain I have to convert it to all-wheel drive because, well, let's just say she has a rather dangerous stuff sometimes to bring around some car, but so yeah, this kind of help with her steering. I mean, she's not the best driver, to be honest, <laughs> but she can drive, obviously, but not the best one. Uh, well, uh, tire-wise, I up with the rally tire compound. It's pretty good. Uh, give the front tire the widest tire possible. Uh, this one is 285. It's really wide. How about the rear? The rear one is 325, which is even wider. Mm, pretty good. And the rest of these are stock. Because, well, it's came from the factory. I just break the drive train a little with the all-wheel drive <laughs> and well now I have found another horizon live session but yeah this obviously all upgraded but this is the interesting part I upgraded this to the specific one including the rally spring because she need more comfort even though I made it stiffer anyway uh, roll bar I give that as well but I only give her the street weight reduction, so it's not gonna be 
the lightest thing but she need more comfort like maybe some cd player if she want to or even some other stuff like that like the ac and stuff so i don't fully go with this raceway production you don't really need it if you're just going around straight and stuff like that of course you don't need a roll cage because well you're, you're just driving essentially but engine wise i maxed everything out because well maybe she needs a little bump on the performance side <laughs> but yeah there is that tune maybe i well i don't need to share it to you guys to be honest because it's not the maximized build it's just a scenario build so all right let's test out on the road and see how it performs well you still can wheel spin a little but it's not really fully wheel spin which is gonna help her a lot it's like having traction control I mean well most driver these days will use traction control anyway but you still need to slow down a little when you're turning this car top speed is almost well it's almost the same with my legacy so she would be familiar but it won't accelerate too fast like the legacy because let's face it my my super legacy is ooh, it's hellish when it's come to launching the car okay i break a little too much well a little later so i think i need to give it some more brake pressure to 120 it's i think that's probably gonna help because this car is quite heavy yeah and that's pretty good so let's test it out on a racetrack maybe so let's see if this car can handle some normal road car well normal normal road level when driving fast and racing is the best way to test it out <laughs> it's not the mac the best setting to be honest i mean i could go all ham because this car has the engine so far v10 but i'm not gonna do that because I'm just gonna tune it a little. That's it. But launching wise, uh, it's good. It's like A class all wheel drive car when it comes to launching. Okay, some understeer. But, well, she's not gonna drive this fast all the time. And I already broke my Jaguar. Well, it's not that bad on this game <laughs> if you just tap it like that. But I need to be a little more careful with it. Right here. Yeah, it's <laughs> way under steamy. I need to tune it a little for her. So it's not gonna be too under steamy. But everything else seems pretty good. Yeah, it's still turn. Uh, actually, I need to give it a little throttle. Yeah, I can repair that a little <laughs> later. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so car is pretty nice actually, but I mean it's built for comfort, not for racing. And I missed the turn there, which is annoying. But this car can handle some tasks for handling, hopefully. I mean, for her at the very least. But, you know, oh, okay, jumps. Uh, yeah. I mean, car doesn't bounce around too much, so that's good. I mean, we built it for comfort with a little extra performance, and this car just blocked my way. Uh, can you move a little? Uh, 
There we go. Right here. Oh. She... Okay, that guy just dive in like that. I can... I'm a little surprised there, so... Didn't expect... He can reach that far, but... Eh. Okay, there are some trees there, be careful. Give it a bit of... Uh... Breaking. But, yeah. For racing wise... Not bad to be honest, but this is not maximal performance of it. I mean, I could done it better to be honest, but well, this is all I have. So yeah, also the rally tire doesn't help with the grip to be honest. So I mean, it helps a little with on the road, but maybe it will shine on the dirt race section. Which is what I'm gonna do next. So, well, 3 minutes 32. Quite slow, but well, it's a comfort build for the ladies. <laughs> but that's what give me quite a lot of money, actually. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> so, that's that. And we get a wheel spin. Let's see what do we get. Probably another clothing, or maybe some little money. You know, I could use some extra. I already have that M5, so I'm I want to be getting that. Uh, okay, I got the fo the 2009 Focus RS. Mm, not bad, but I still don't like hatchback that much. I mean, sure they are nice and fast this day, but. Eh. Still don't really like them. I mean, yeah, it's just my personal taste, I guess. So, well, it couldn't be helped. Uh, well, now we're on to their one, so let's see how it performs on their racing. But, well, I don't do cross country because cross country is hellish. Besides, this car won't be going cross country that much, so at least rallying will help. I mean, well, my, my girl won't do crazy driving that much. I mean, she will do some crazy driving, but not too crazy, so. Yeah. So, this will be the most fair. Well, a uh, rather realistic scenario of her trying to get away from something. And maybe some rock blasting as well. <laughs> and that was a bad driving. I mean, I'm having a habit to cut too much corner on this game. Ah, this is a good test for the car. It's still accelerating on this. <laughs> yeah, somehow it's still accelerating on that section. Wow. Okay. Well, that's good news for her if she went through river for some reason. That's too fast. I'm not sure where they want to break there. Ah. Yeah, I should break earlier against bots. There we go. Some a bit of depth on the brake. It's fine. Okay, I can just let the car turn by itself actually by letting off the throttle. I keep forgetting about that. I mean all wheel drive. Yeah, I mean Okay, some sharp curve. I mean, this is 
not bad for comfort to be honest it's not too okay that was my fault that's also my fault man i'm so bad at driving so where's the dirt part here there is not almost not dirt well probably on that next sharp turn there maybe okay a bit too fast Yeah, this is the dirt. Let's see how it performs along here. Yeah, it, actually it's pretty good with the suspension that I'm having right now. And how I tune the car. But, hmm, not that really. There we go! Jaguar XFRS for comfort driving. <laughs> not bad, really. <laughs> I mean, it's not the fastest, but that's the point, right? You want smooth acceleration for comfort driving, smooth driving. I mean, sure, it's kind of understeering some if you went too fast around the corner, but that's the point for this kind of car. I mean, most car manufacturer will uh, build a normal road car with a lot of understeer, so it's just, it doesn't really matter actually. But there you go, a gift for Kiara. And well, let's try to do this drift zone. It's so bad. I mean. I don't understand why they put drift zone around the dirt like this. It's kind of annoying because normal drift car can't drift around here properly, and rally car just too grippy for it. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> oh well, there's that. So yeah, Kiara, happy birthday, and well. Hope you enjoy the car. <laughs>